hi guys, this is Mark Cook for Kid Planes. Tom Wilson. He knows his name, that's pretty good. So it's uh, Tuesday morning and uh, it's raining. Raining pretty good here in Oshkosh. Uh, looks like we're gonna have it for a little while. Um, but first day was uh, was a success, I would say. Uh, activity was up, looked pretty good to yep. me, looked pretty busy. Especially uh, busy in the morning. And uh, especially busy in the morning. Got a little hot and humid, so people kind of uh, took cover uh, for that. But. Uh, you know, uh, so far, no uh, no shortage of news, I would say. Uh, I sat in with the uh, RB15 uh, introduction. Uh, you know, they, they let us in on a few uh, details of what they're working on. It's a high-wing backcountry airplane. Uh, tried to uh, weasel a few details out of the guys, and they're uh, pretty tight-lipped about it. But uh, clearly, it's an important airplane for Vans. Um, what, did, uh, what did you see that was interesting, Tom? Well, uh, I had some chores in the morning, but I did get out a little bit, and I saw the first thing was Vince Frazier over at F1 Rocket has uh, been working on the tapered wing, which is a, a highly uh, sought-after subject in that world. And uh, he's got the tooling built up. He's got some prototype pieces here, uh, a lot of interest in that. And uh, went down uh, to Sam Watrous at uh, Scalebird, who's also a Werner dealer. Mm -hmm. And uh, they seem to be doing well with those. And they have a, a little P36A uh, replica prototype, which was just a fuselage the last couple of years. But mm -hmm. uh, they got the wings on it now. It's looking kind of ready for flight. So yeah, all good news from them. Yeah, it seems good. And, you know, the, the general uh, feeling is... Uh of a strong industry. We've been saying that in the magazine for, for months now. There's a lot of demand. Uh, really, the issues are supply chain. A lot of Absolutely. Heard it from everybody I spoke to. The everybody. demand is high, but the supply chain is just kind of in a shambles right now. And then a few of the companies that are uh, you know not in major city centers are having trouble getting employees. So uh, even uh, to the point where Vans, uh, which is not that far from Portland, was saying, hey, we're hiring skilled people. We need uh, CNC operators. We need people to work in uh, uh, various parts of the uh, the shop and the design center. So, uh, you know, the demand is uh, is there. Companies are trying to ramp up. Uh, so, you know, that's that's good for our industry. It'd be nice if, uh, you know, we got the supply chain stuff worked out. So, uh, and it'd be nice if it stopped raining. So, uh, as soon as we can get out of our rental car, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go into the show on Tuesday morning. Uh, got a lot of interviews set up. Uh, catch up with a number of people on avionics and engines uh, and airframes, and uh, we'll have uh, we'll have more on the channel. So uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna let the worst go by, and then uh, we're gonna amble in, right, Tom? Sounds good. All right, see you guys later.